All right, so we are going to look at Xcode. Um, Xcode 5, I'm going to show you how to integrate Chart Boost uh, into the project. So let's go to Safari. First thing we're going to do is go into the apps. We're going to add an app. Platform is going to be iOS. And we're going to use the, um, let's do test one. It's going to be the name of our app. Portrait. You can search for it on the app store if you want, but right now we're just kind of doing a test. And it'll bring in your app icon and everything. <clears throat> After that, you hit done. Pretty simple. So here's our test, test one. Now here's the app ID and app signature. I'm not going to use that right now, but later on uh, we'll put that in the code itself to uh, uh, call this individually. Um, you got to set up a campaign. This is what it <clears throat> what actually tells it what to look for and what to actually advertise. Uh, so the best one to go through is just go to publish in the network. <clears throat> now this campaign is going to be on. Oh, we're going to do a simple. There's only a couple little settings. Enter a campaign and say test one campaign. Uh, select the apps. It'll be an iOS. And then we want to use this test one that we just created. Uh, and that's all we're going to change. Most of this stuff. Uh, pertains to if you have certain apps that you want to advertise in here that say maybe pay the most they'll be great except they only come up once in a blue moon so we're gonna say any app has the highest priority basically show us anything and everything and <clears throat> pay us for anything and everything same thing we're not gonna touch anything else and we're gonna save <clears throat> all right so now we have our test one active campaign. So next step is to actually go in. Let's download the SDK. Let's go to help. Downloads. iOS. And I'm going to download the latest. Too long. It's almost there. It's a couple steps in the help. Um, there's a couple extra steps that are not in the help document that uh, we'll show you a little bit later on. I have quite a few errors kept coming through. <clears throat> Chart boost. Open up. Basically, it gives you the chart boost SDKs and an example. Chart boost and an example. Actually, move it down here. <clears throat> Let's go back into our Xcode. And we're going to pull just the chart boost folder over. Always make sure to copy it in there. Finish. Make sure it comes through. Very good. All right, now we need to add some frameworks. Let's go to our build phases. Compile sources. Uh, 
Incorrect. I mean, five burgers. I know it looks weird. <clears throat> so the main thing, uh, there's a few of these we want to add. The first is the quartz core, is number one, which we already have. The second one is system configuration, which we already have. The third one is core graphics. Sorry, man. Number four is add support. It's already there. Number five is store kit. Uh, store kit number five. Number six is core media. I'm pretty sure that it's not in there. Let's open that up. Go to core media framework. Let's add that in there. Uh, the next one is AV Foundation, which I've already got. And the next one is Core Data. Core Data. Grab that. <clears throat> Alright, now I've got everything linked in here. Let's actually start doing some coding. Uh, everything's actually going to be done in the App Delegate. And we'll start off in the H file. First thing we want to do is import chart boost. <clears throat> now, something that differs from the actual main uh, walkthrough online to this to mine is you actually need to add in the chart boost target. H file. Let's go over to the M. Same thing, we want to import chart boost. And the same thing, we're going to do one more thing which they do not show you on the actual online video. I don't know why, but it creates all kinds of errors if you don't. And the interface. Um, and basically you want to look and see... <clears throat> uh, you're currently using a, a view controller for the interface. View controller. I'm sorry. You're going to do whatever you're implementing. So sexy hands two delegate. Delegate. Open close. And I use the chart boost delegate in this as well. <coughs> we end that. Takes out all of our errors. Now we want to go down here. And we're going to look at keep going, application did become active. So that's the that's the main guy that we're gonna look for here. <clears throat> so uh, chart boost. Start application with app ID. App ID for now. App signature. App sig for now. And delegate. Oh, I'm gonna go chart boost. Share chart boost. You wanna show our interstitial at CV location home screen and that is the main code there <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is we'll go back to Safari go back to our chart boost and let's go back to our actual apps Test one, 
and cap copy our app ID. Like that's good. Put our app ID. Same thing with the signature. And we are ready to build. Uh, but the main thing is that it just does take uh, about 20 to 30 minutes for the campaign to be active. So I'm gonna. So this is gonna be my So I'm gonna use a previous. Previous file, previous project that actually has chart boost in it. <clears throat> Just so we can show that it works. Let me go right here. This is my fitness one on one app. Just so I always know which one is which. <clears throat> All right, let's actually test this thing out and see what happens. Now on the apps, the, uh, when you initially open it up, it'll pop up and you can close it out and go into the regular app. Uh, when it goes live, the main point of Chart Boost is the first time someone opens up the app with Chart Boost, it won't show it the first time. And that's Chart Boost's way of saying, um, kind of slowly integrating Chart Boost into the app. So the first time a user opens it up, it, it actually won't pop up. But the second time and everything beyond that, every time we open it up, it will open up. And since I'm recording this, it's obviously going to take a while for the simulator to kick in. Let's go up slowly. Now, obviously, it's a lot faster, but on the simulator, it takes forever. So, if someone actually clicks on that, you'll start getting money for it. Close. And then you use the normal app. So, um, that's kind of the, the 101 on how to put Chart Boost into a new uh, Xcode 5 project. And using iPad, I'm sorry, iPhone Retina. Works on iPad, Landscape, or Portrait. So I uh, hope this helps and hope you all start earning, earning money. Thanks a lot. Bye.